Buenos Nachos Amigos and welcome to Through the Tomes, a Dungeons and Dragons adventure where a group of understanding and patient uh, adventurers and friends uh, gather to go on a journey guided by an amateur DM cobbling together his first campaign with adventure setting modules, uh, spit duct tape and random stuff that you can find on the internet. Uh, I'm Petey Ray, your aforementioned amateur DM. Uh, and uh, right after we're done, I'm going to go marinate some pork chunks. Uh, here with me is my team, my squad, my party. Uh, we've got playing Wind and Summer, uh, Daisy. Buddy, I moved offices. Yeah. Huzzah. Uh, we've got playing uh, Solero Italian, a Drew. I was sick all last week. Did I miss any big news? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I've I've, I've been paying attention too much. Uh, playing uh, Tobo Toby Underborough. We've got Brett. So so behind over my right shoulder, I was uh, digging through. Uh, uh, I th- it was Windows 95, 98 second edition. Uh, the the university copy, and I was stuffing some old Windows is is that my brother got at Purdue. Um, into a box and uh i I have my headphones in and i i come back later and like i keep hearing something over and over coming from within this this plastic tote it was laying on top of my mr t in my in your pocket (laughs) and it was actually it was the it it was the 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 don't make me mad don't make me mad don't make me mad yeah, I just over and over. It could have been going for hours. Like I was listening to stuff. So yeah, Mr. T in my pocket, a thing I bought in 2004. Um, yeah. Still the original batteries. Uh, still haunts me to this day. Um, d- dumb question. Does that have an auxiliary output? Uh, it, uh, I, <laughs> it, it could. There's a way that I could, I could, I could find a way to make this. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. It's got a speaker plus and a speaker minus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's true. Uh, and of course, last but not least, we've got playing uh, Lucius and Arrow, uh, Matt. Uh, hey, I have a uh, unopened Razor Basilisk V3. Nice. Oh, I guess I should use it at some point. <laughs> at some point, yeah. That, maybe. that how you how you get the one of the Horcruxes? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. It was on sale for like forty five bucks and. Who's this? I, you know, I, 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 mice, they just don't last as long as they used to. <laughs> I always get that, that funky click. Yeah. The, it it worked. I've, I've gone through, I've lost track. Yeah. At least five. Um, Probably closer to seven or eight. It's certainly not the fact that I sit at a computer for like 20 hours a day clicking <laughs> yeah. on stuff and dragging. And I'm not like a violent clicker, especially <laughs> at work. So you're not you like, know, if I was at home. You know, like, Open it, okay, this. if I was playing FPSs all day or whatever, you know, I can see myself getting amped up and like, yeah, do it. But like, no, I'm just like, collect, yeah. yeah, drag, add a new wire. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, it was like drag and drop windows, man. Exactly. I know. Mm-hmm. Um, it's always that you know, it's like that that death knell when you get that first uh double click when you go when you get that first du- du- uh, unintended double click when it's when it clicks going down and clicks going up it's like oh no uh-huh. <laughs> oh yeah yeah uh, that, that, that daisy knows that feeling as well she yeah. sent her mouse off a couple of times yeah All right. oh yeah this one is like four months old and i already need to send it back it's borked already yeah um, i replaced the buttons in my mouse which i can't hold up to the camera yeah. because <laughs> Well, maybe I should get a a, a Razor Basilisk Dart. Yeah. Six nine six nine four twenty big dog <laughs> mouse. Um. So. Please cameras. Yes, Ooh. I've got the cameras going. <laughs> uh, and I've I love the delay. It's like <laughs> I can be looking in two different directions at the same time. <laughs> Do you need to have a guy who's got a big headset who's pointing to which camera that he's like the, yes. the control room wants you to go to? Exactly. Um, I mean, one of my hey, favorite Steve things that just stands there. The floor manager. 
Uh, One of my favorite I videos I've seen is the AEW video of them, the production manager with the giant microphone the doing the CM or, Punk debut. And oh, like yeah, the director, yeah. And stuff director like. in TD, yeah. Yeah, it was great. I know all <laughs> like those. Like just screaming at cameramen. I know those role oh. names because I took TV production in college. Last semester. Hey. <laughs> Oh hey, uh, record but, breakers! Bryce is introducing the gang to Ayumi Hamasaki. Oh, I forgot to. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh who cares? I, I, where's Bryce? <laughs> I love it. Hey, we can get Bryce on on D and D. Uh, that'd be awesome. Oh um, yeah. We're getting Bryce to hang he out. Has a good awesome. Michael McDonald impression. Yes. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I have got to hear that. Um, I want to show off. So, uh, what I'm drinking, the beer I'm drinking today is, uh, uh, is a courtesy of uh, Aldi. Uh, an oh, Aldi hey. trip. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this is a brewed and bottled by Cerveceria Centro Americana from Guatemala. Uh, oh. It's Cerveza Monterrey. As you can see right there, we got the Cerveza Monterrey. Cheese. Yes. Yes. And I want to show off something else. I got something that I kickstarted. I wanted to show off uh, this cool thing that uh, came. Uh, I got the. A roll of toilet paper in a black box? Yes uh this is an important role and of a piece paper. of maple yes i'm real mad right now while he's getting that out that it seems like secondary pd got a seat on the skype I <laughs> just as a side note. I, I don't know i don't know uh for those people who know that uh, don't know that we, we got the skype in a group to, in a together mode <laughs> everybody's on an airplane um that me and your beer was keyed out. It was great. It was, it was just like you're holding up this bottle of airplane. Yes. Um, but yeah, this, uh, if you can see, is uh, I got the my package of the Grim Hollow, uh, the monster grimoire. Uh, it comes with, let me see, let me, I think this is a poster that I got for my thing. So. Welcome to this unboxing stream. Hell yeah. This is that stream. good adhesive getting pulled off? Oh, yeah. So is, uh, Lou from Unbox Therapy. It's going to be both uh, a mukbang, an unboxing, and an ASMR stream. This poster right there. Oh, I can smell That's it. Creepy. Hell yeah! Like it's. Let's see. Is. Oh yeah, that's dope. Um, yeah, it's, it's a whole adventure with like mon. So, okay. Let's see Grim Hollow. Uh, from Ghostfire Sounds Gaming. Sounds like a lovely place. And I want to just unbox it real quick. Go down to the holler. Grim comes, holler. Comes Way with a, a map pack for the adventure that's included called called Layers of Atharis. It's like a little, this is like a map. I think this is a box map with like pack. maps. I heard a math pack and I was like, like a bunch of Matt Bragg? characters named Matt. Like, I don't understand what <laughs> we're uh, Matt I, Bragg, I, I Matt think we're Walton. witnessing Chekhov's Matt uh, Hardy. grimoire. <laughs> if, you see, if you see a, a, a grim dank uh, holler uh, book in the first act, you're going to expect to be in a in a in a, cubby uh, there might be in, some in, a, in a valley of doom because it's what it is is a, it's a bunch of like really cool uh monsters and like an adventure i probably i don't know if we're gonna do layers of atharis in this campaign or as a side quest but you uh, know the hollers right by the beach you know so this it's just a it's like a little folder and it just has maps in it like look at that what, give me, give me, give, what's the weight on that paper? What, what's, what's it feeling like? What, it's so like, there's, there's give me, give me a paper. Heft. You can see like the heft on that paper. It's, yeah. it's pretty thick. I mean, that's folded, but like, it's pretty, it's pretty yeah. nice. That's and better then, than some of the crap that's behind me. Yeah. Like a, like 60, maybe? Better than that TSR crap. Yeah. <laughs> um, as you can see, there's stickers. 
I love me some stickers. Hey. I'm a man that loves stickers. Uh, uh, we, I am aware as somebody who has gotten stickers sent <laughs> from you. Way too many stickers. That more than you probably <laughs> do. Hey, with. The, the, those stickers will end up in places. They will be stuck. Uh, and then this is the actual Lairs of Atharis book. Really How cool. deep is that box? You keep grabbing more things. <laughs> like it's, yeah. a... it's like, yeah, it's a pretty deep box. And then the last thing, this is the actual Monster Grimoire. The Monster Grimoire. So it's like grim, you know, like grim dark esque just a monster it's actually just a monster manual um is that a general grievous something like is that. that guy like swinging like four swords yeah like he's got he's awesome. got a sword he's got a free hand <laughs> he's got his back hands one of them has a sword and he's holding it like uh upside like down ways and the other hand has a dagger <laughs> man just think how many attacks he gets around Mm -hmm. I bet that book tells you. Yeah. So. Yes, I hope I, I'm, I'm unwrapping it with my teeth. But like I said, it's it's both a, an unboxing and a mukbang and ASMR. Oh. I literally. So, have... yeah, the, the 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 extra arms uh, <laughs> reminds me of a. Uh, uh, effectively wild baseball podcast uh, question where they're like, if a player could get a third arm, where would they put it, and how would they use it in baseball? Um, and uh, now I'm just like, man, yeah, the 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 sword the sword arm on the back, not not anything they brought up, but probably helpful in baseball. Oh, wait, okay. Ooh, look at that gloss. Yeah, oh, wait. wrong direction. There you go. Yeah. And then you can kind of see. Oh, that's a that's a dope map. That's the world of Grim Hollow. Let's see if turmoil. We have something like the Emperor Brazen Bull. Uh the and ooh, the outlaw. Good times. That's what channel's rating is this? That that's a horse. What has Two. dreadlocks? Wow, this is, and it's uh, there's an outlaw and a master outlaw. I'm a journeyman outlaw. <laughs> the Spythronar. The outlaw's apprentice. Starring Nick Cage. Uh, <laughs> uh, swarm of grotesque minions. Who, who doesn't love a good swarm of grotesque minions? I mean, banana. Grotesquery. Uh, grudge Draw strategic. grotesque yeah. minions. D there you go, Daisy. From you have your drawing uh, assignment. Yes. A grotesque minion. A uh, grudgeal strategist. Grudgeal. <laughs> Grudgeal polishing glass in his spare time. I think these are like a, a particular race of people. They're very orc like, but maybe a they're a race. Horror out of the box. <laughs> oh, really cool stuff. All right. So shout out to Ghostfire Gaming for this is probably going to be coming out at some point. If you want to check it out, this is obviously not sponsored because we're not that relevant to get uh, advertisements. You're sponsored by me. Yes. <laughs> and the loving support of viewers like you. Exactly. Uh, so in case I needed that. Uh, the Candida Foundation. <laughs> the, the, the MacArthur Foundation. But yeah. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. <laughs> yes. um, but yeah. Uh, back to TNT. Uh, so uh, we had some fun last time. We we they they had some R and R. They had some uh, fun uh, time at the lake. Um, they and hanging out with uh, people. Uh, 
and um uh, you know had had some uh private moments uh had some good conversations and they're as they're on their road to uh gordon uh to the next leg of their journey um and then after you know a night uh spent you know relaxing kind of like uh or at least mostly relaxing uh <laughs> maybe not completely relaxing especially uh, in their dreams but that's that's for the people that know <laughs> what they dreamt about uh other than that uh it was a nice night so they wake up uh and will continue on their journey um the uh along the way the afternoon. Why is this? Okay. Uh, can't get rid of, okay. I want it. Uh, along the way, uh, they stumble upon a a scene where a, a grisly scene, um, where they find a couple of dead horses and uh, the remnants of a burning, a remnants of uh, once burning cart. Um, I, I don't know. I, I didn't quite give the visual here, but basically, uh, and then they were found. They found a little bit of evidence of what happened there, um, and they found also uh, one of their uh, people guiding them found uh, somebody hiding in the. Um, in the bushes, uh, so to speak. Um, so, in the meantime, let me see. Uh, okay. Just going to have some hold holdover things. Okay. I just wonder... Roblox? Harry okay. Potter, 100%. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I had um, <laughs> push the talk on. I got it. I'm spinning it. it I'm spinning all my my, my Robux. Robux, to... yes. Um, so. He hasn't asked for Robux in a minute. Yet. He's asked for hard money. So, um, to recap, I, I don't know how detailed I, I went, but this is what we'll go with what we found. Because I remember you guys rolled really well in like investigation and stuff like that. Um, you found uh, the cart, uh, two horses dead. Obviously, it's very obvious stuff. The cart is kind of, I mean, it's not how it looks like in on the map, which I, I didn't remember to switch over to the map last time uh, to, to show the visuals. But uh so we're gonna have to use a little bit of a theater of the mind to 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 show this, but um, the cart there is uh, not as intact as it looks here. I just kind of put it there as a visual of where it is. Um, it's it's all collapsed on in, in and of itself. It's still slightly smoking with some embers uh, and burning um, and burnt. Um, it seems to basically have been ransacked uh, of anything. There's nothing really there as far as supplies or, or anything like that. Um, and as far as like when you looked for, I don't know, I, I didn't get into details of the prints, but um, you saw humanoid uh, footprints heading further down the road. Uh, and to, to a distance and if you saw um, it's just those footprints um and i mean and also just to to provide context you're finding these humanoid per, per, footprints uh among a sea of ca uh, cart like prints like just like but like you can tell that this is just the traffic going through like you see um you could it would be impossible to count because a lot of these are repeated. You see carts and carriages, wheel prints going through both directions and weird patterns depending on like where they bump on. Uh, but that's that's obviously from this being a road that get that gets used a lot. It's, it's, so a lot of carts. But you can tell that these humanoid prints were uh, from 
relatively recently and there's not a lot of those and uh and then these particular ones don't match up with any of the random maybe prints you see behind this scene if that makes sense because uh, uh you this is from your very good investigation and perception checks <laughs> so you guys can like figure that out based off like context of like okay those those are that those are this this is the traffic these definitely uh and they match also they match up with um with traffic coming off the road like from the from the the woods so a little like uh humor prints coming to this sign of there's also as much obviously signs of struggle blood like uh things like that uh uh signs of combat signs of like an ambush um so you see humanoid prints going that way you also see um goblinoid prints uh little goblin feet, a couple of goblin, uh, pairs of goblin feet, and what seems like like a like uh something being dragged i think i remember it said something like like a like a a person or something being dragged in between them like a, you figure it's like a couple of goblins were dragging something or someone from here. See? Mm. There. Uh, and of course, now you have uh, Brock uh, uh, holding this uh, this guy, uh, uh, like kind of like has him grapple with his uh, dagger at his at his neck, um, and he's like, hmm. What do you what do you know about what happened here? I I, I don't I don't I don't I didn't do I didn't know anything I didn't, I just it was like this when I got here I was just trying to see if there was anything uh, worth you know worth taking I just I I, I just I was hoping there would like be some like supplies or some food that I can grab uh, you know some money I I I was trying to but but uh, then I heard somebody coming down the road and I hid. should get him to turn out his pockets yeah what's he got in his nasty little pockets is uh yeah, yeah. Secrets. turn turn out your pockets and your coin purse oh okay 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 he turns out his pockets he's got he he you see um about three copper come out of his left pocket uh there's like he pulls out like some lint out of the of their pocket and like a like a little uh like some pieces of paper and, and things like that he points out his coin purse uh it has a uh has like two silver and and a couple of copper from his coin purse uh and and he's like he's like is that all he's like uh oh. oh. And come on, is there anything more? What? Step aside. Let me let me let me give this a whirl. Can I can I pers can I persuade this this fella? Well, what do you say to him? What do you want to say to him? Uh, well, uh, I I'm going I'm I'm thinking of uh, hold on a second. Um, you can also move yourself if you like. I'm pausing you. Yeah. Cool. Actually, no, I can't. Um, oh, that's weird. That that might be a me thing. Uh -huh. um, so if you could move me in, in, into, yeah, there we go. Action. I'm close oh. enough now. Um, so uh, d describe this this person to me. Uh, so what what do I what do I see when I'm up close and, and looking? Does this person look like they are uh, of the type of person that would be on these roads? You uh, know, they, for it's uh, it's so it's kind of it's a, um, a human uh, about five foot eight, like relatively tall. You know, it's gigantic to, to you, um, uh. But relatively, you know, average height, uh, human, uh, bald, old, like a little bit like 
not older, but like looks adult and a little prematurely aged, um, a little bit hollow in the eyes, uh, a little bit, you know, not a lot of meat on his bones, a little bit of like a, a premature graying in his beard. He has like a, like a scraggly beard, bald. Uh, would, would I find this person out of place on this road? Um, he, he would not find a person. He seems like it, like somebody who's maybe wandering and doesn't have a place to stay. He would be a, he would be on this road. He, you would, uh, you would probably find it odd if he would, he managed, unless he managed to like do, have somebody do him a favor of giving him a ride, but he's just a regular person, a regular. And he's, when he emptied his pockets out, he didn't like have anything other than um, some coin, right? Yeah. You can, uh, give me a perception check. I can give you one of those. anywhere you want to give it i rolled a 14 how's that yeah uh so uh yeah you just see he's um he's just a very plain clothes he um he does have um uh, i would say at best you can maybe spot that he does have uh, a very rudimentary dagger at his side. Okay. Um, but it, it doesn't seem out of place for somebody that needs to be out here. But yeah, he does have a dagger at his side. He's not reaching for it. Like, okay. Um, well, Toby is going to get up and get, get, get like a close enough to you know, get on up, look him as close to in the eye as possible <laughs> as his, as a short person. Yeah. Um, and he's going to be like, uh, look at me. Okay. I'm the captain now. Um, I think you should just tell us everything that you know and make this a whole lot easier for all of us. Shall I persuade? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and give me a persuasion check. 10. <laughs> oh, come on. Wait, you what? You rolled a ten? No, I did not. I rolled a two. No, this is game master rolls. He hasn't it hasn't been showing up because uh, uh, he's not bra He's not using his beyond twenty. So, but which is uh, fine. It's, oh. I'm, it's not. It, it's yeah, not yeah. linking. My D and D beyond is not working. Through. Yeah, yeah, that's that's it. That's why I'm saying it out loud. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Which is fine. It's like it's I see it D and D beyond. Yeah. Oh, you can like I said. <laughs> you can do it everywhere. You can even roll physical dice if you got them. Um, just let me know. Roll them if you got them. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, he seems a little bit. Uh, he's like, uh, I mean, I, I, I pretty much told you everything I I knew. I, I, I that's pretty much it. Like, I just, I just stumbled upon this. Uh, when? This morning. When did you stumble upon it? Uh, like, uh, I don't know time. Uh, like, like fifth, fifth, like twenty minutes ago. And what were you doing before that? <sighs> Just kind of going, trying to find some, like a, like a rat or something, or a rabbit or something <laughs> I can like, kill and eat or something trying to get breakfast or no oh, it's, a, it's the afternoon right oh god it's lunch i guess this is the only would have been the first meal anyways but i'm gonna turn around uh to mortal i'm gonna shrug and uh yeah. I, I, I guess my job here is done <laughs> i'll go up behind i, I don't i, I don't think i don't think that i'm going to for one, I don't believe that there is more for me to squeeze out. Yeah. <laughs> also, I don't think that it's a problem. Yeah. Uh, I just want to ask this guy, like, what are you doing out here all by yourself? Like, where are you from? Why are you here? Uh, at this point, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's just, uh, 
just trying to uh, find a, a place to stay any given night, find a place to eat. I'm just kind of wandering. I used to uh, live out, you know, live in, in Gordon, I just uh, kind of uh, things didn't work out. So I'm just, you know. What Warner. kind of things? He asked, not knowingly. Uh, just <clears throat> so long ago. It's a lot of gambling debt, a lot of unpaid taxes, a lot of oh, unpaid taxes, and um, a lot of we, like, we, Toby doesn't believe in property ownership, so or uh, the ownership <laughs> of land, so. Uh, that that's fine, um, but uh, taxes are problems when people are coming and looking for you. Yeah, understood. I, so I just I kind of lost everything and just I'm just wandering around trying to make the best of things. I I once knew a guy. His, his name was uh, was was William Nelson. He he had problems with taxes. It uh, it it almost ruined his barding career. Yeah. Uh, I'm just, I'm... Thank God they didn't find his loot i mean he was carrying he was riding dirty uh but there um, was that sniper that was yes. also a um but yeah Ask i this mean you, guy, can have, um, you can have whatever what, what he thinks happened here uh i mean i don't know it's like they got attacked and everybody By got who? killed by what? what uh, there's, did... band there's bandits there's ba all the time. Bandits. I mean, there's bandits. There's goblins I've seen I mean, before. You, you, you've seen them? I mean, not these. Uh, I mean, I've, I'm, I've been wandering all these like these roads, and sometimes there's you know some goblins wandering around. Some, I kind all of right. stay away okay. from everyone. Sometimes there's okay. bandits. Sometimes there's like there's a lot of guards. Usually it's not a problem, but like... My questions are going to be from the time... That uh, you walked upon these, th this, and not before. So what? What did what? What? What did you walk up upon? Did you see any of this as it was occurring? I I walked on this exactly as okay. it is. Well, well I, we can relate else? because we just did that too. So yeah. I can understand. Wow, <laughs> those are some dead horses. That's yeah. a burnt cart. Messed up, man. Yeah. Don't don't beat the dead horses though. But, but you can probably <laughs> eat them. Mm. Mm -hmm. Uh Yeah, I I don't know if there's much else with this guy. Brock, I think we should let him go. Yeah, yeah. He seems, you sure? He seems harmless. I, can... I don't know. Are, are you, there's, there's like a ton of us here. Yeah. What's he going to do? All right. Is there like a test you do for this situation on the what? road? I mean, you make this journey a lot. You know, sometimes I, uh, sometimes I like to like slice a piece, you know, piece of somebody's arm real slow, like, and, uh, why? All right, what? All right there, what? all right there, oh. predator. And make them bleed slowly. Uh, no, please don't. <laughs> Just playing with you. Just get out of here, you loser. Uh, and kind of like lets go of him. And it's like, and he's like, he's just the the, the guy who's like, uh, th thank you. I'm just, uh, you can have uh, you can have whatever my my uh, my money. You can G GTFO, buddy. We got it from here. Okay. Here. Leaves. I'm gonna get in my backpack Come and here. hand him a a one day's worth of rations, which uh. includes jerky, dried fruit, hardtack, and nuts. Ah. Uh. Ooh, hard thank, tack. You, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, he kind of grabs it and holds on to it. Like, All right, thank you so much. Uh, can I? He kind of like looks down at the, the coins that were on the ground. Yeah, yes. Abs take your money back. Absolutely. Okay. He puts it all in his coin purse and kind of like tucks and, it. And you know what? I'm, I'm also going to give him three gold pieces because I'm oh, feeling generous. Th thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, he puts it in his coin purse. Oh, that's, that, that's coming out of your lot, not the community <laughs> yeah, chest. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, he's about to put it in his coin purse, and just he puts, puts, sticks it in 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 his boot. 
Six of the two, three gold coins in his boot. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, have, um, uh, hopeful, uh, hopeful, I don't know. Uh, good luck. Uh, I'm, I'm, oh, uh, and uh, if you see anybody and anybody asks, you didn't see nothing. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. I what? I see what? Uh, who absolutely. are you guys? I'm just I'm just here talking to myself. I'm just I do that a lot. I talk to myself a lot. You know, I just. I'm just here having a conversation with myself, just hanging out, just being by myself. Uh, I'm gonna uh, right now. I'm gonna go be by myself way over there. Uh, cool. Bye. And he darts off. <laughs> be with you. <laughs> Say bye. <laughs> All right. Well. All right. Mortal gives a wave. He's like, bye. <laughs> we got we got bandits. And goats. The goat went uh, meh. The wow. travel went meh. <laughs> Uh, so I would like to investigate the, I guess, like trail where he said it looks like something's been dragged. How about I help you out with that? Yeah. If that's okay to see if I can like maybe determine like what type of creature ish it is. Yeah. You go over here and uh, yeah, go ahead and give me either an investigation or survival check your choice. And with advantage, because Toby's uh, helping you. That's right there. I'm, I'm patting you on the back while you're doing it. Sure, remember, how do sure. I do the with advantage? Uh, depending on when you're doing it, uh, in Foundry, you can just roll it, and there's, uh, there's a button you can press after you roll it. Okay. Okay, so I will do... Let's do survival. Mm-hmm. Loop. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, good. and then you can press the, press the think, plus if you hover over it. Wanna, that, that just wait no that didn't work you hover over to the number there should be an adv dis yeah in the bottom right or if you hover those. over it yeah, yeah there should be a the, there's actually a plus a little like plus button in the chat oh yeah. there you go just in gotcha. case gotcha right. okay there you go. gotcha but yeah if you're if you're it, so the that trail is basically right around here and it kind of goes off into or like basically right here and it kind of goes off into into the woods down south south east um and uh you're looking at it and it's pretty much what you see you see two sets of um what appear to be globlinoid go, you know, goblin like uh footprints and in the middle, there's like, like a. Uh, from what you can tell, it it does look like, a, a butt, <laughs> making a dragging in drag print a butt drag print. Someone's dragging ass. Yeah, but okay. as if they were being dragged by, <laughs> dragged by their shoulders and their butt was on the ground and they were being dragged out that way. Uh, and there's like little splatterings of blood every once in a while, um, as you go go along that way, off into to the woods. Um, and All right, Columbo, what'd you find? <laughs> a, a, a path that's a butt shape. Okay, cool. Yeah. So far, can I tell? Like, I don't know how, like, heavy the person is. Like, what size victim we're looking for? Is how it, like, big was that? Ass? Child <laughs> that yeah. Yeah. It was. It was. It was, uh, <laughs> it was medium sized. A medium. Okay. Was a, how good it, would this person be at twerking? <laughs> yeah. Like. Uh, so It'd be all like, right. Say medium. Medium size. It has to kind of really sized. work it out there. Uh, medium, as in D and D, medium sized. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because it's uh, be a range. And, but. And like it's you can kind of tell thing. that there's a like it's that butt, and then you can kind of see the uh, yeah. the like the feet, the like the like the heels of somebody's feet, like it's like they're being dragged like this way, like you know, what I mean, dragged back with their feet kind of dangling forward, and huh. which which drags, you know, it's a medium sized person, a pair of goblins. It makes sense, like, that's about the height they can lift that person and, and like, just drag them the best they could. Um, makes sense. Goblins okay. dragging people off. So I believe uh, Lucius and I investigated the cart and dead horses last 
episode. Yeah. And pretty much how I uh, described it early uh, <coughs> in the opening. Okay. Do we need, like, can we make our way around this, I don't know, horror scene? Or do we need to work at, like, moving dead horses and cart pieces out of the way I, to I'm continue not down the street? Uh, it's uh, floating disc to clean up after this? No. <laughs> it's like, um, horses are big. Hey, um, if you guys need to investigate anything, uh, we can take care of just dragging this stuff out out of this way, out of the way. We're pretty good, pretty, you know, we, yes, we've, we, I mean, blocking traffic. We're, we're one, very but... busy. We need to continue <laughs> to investigate. Yeah. Over but yeah, there. I mean, it, it should be pr- fairly easy to get this stuff out of the way. We've had to put, move logs out of the way. Move, we're pretty, pretty experienced in that. Carcasses. Not carcasses. Fine. Not, not usually. Maybe like a dead, uh, possum or something or like a sometimes a wolf you know kind of just starves but but usually it's just logs and, and stuff like that well uh, hmm. yes. team team how how would you like to that was grung everybody let, let's i should say that was grung that said that that was grung that said that because I, I forgot okay. that brock is fairly quiet he's just kind of like yeah I think uh, everybody should be informed on the things that we just found so that we don't have to deal with this later um, right. of informing some people and not. Somebody's ass got dragged out of here, which Toby, as me, uh, I, I don't. I Is that common? You guys are on the road more often than I am. I mean, uh, there have I, been disappearances. There's, you know, sometimes uh, people get kidnapped. Sometimes, you know. Uh, and a grong kind of like a grung she this is the best i could i gotta get her uh uh art or something or a uh, token this is her uh, just a regular Shrek work a albert <laughs> uh but she's just like a regular like, close um it's like ah well i mean uh i mean unfortunately it, it's it's a wild world out there so yeah sometimes people get dragged away sometimes dragged away kid. after they sometimes down their carriage that like, is this, weird. This doesn't doesn't yeah. seem like a highwayman kind of thing. They don't. They didn't want to take the horses, which are worth money. How often is sometimes? Uh, sometimes seems to be there is a frequency. You know, when this, you but watch not the nightly uncommon. news. I mean, you know? it, okay, uh, it's not. It's not. Uh, it, it's not common. It's not frequent. Uh, but every once in a while, I mean, there's a lot of there's crime out here. It's, this is a kind of like the uh middle of nowhere uh maybe not this close to uh, established like posts and established uh stopping points on the road but um well regardless somebody at least by the shape of ass draggery um one person uh, is having probably a pretty bad time as demonstrated by blood splatter exhibit a and down the ways blood splatter exhibit b <laughs> um so uh is, we, we can go but how how fresh are that uh, how fresh is this like um uh, from you can tell from what you can tell uh it is it, it from uh everything i would say uh what you and summer can like figure out is that this happened like early morning last night you know sometime between sometime in the last day you know. if you're out after midnight you're up to no good oh, I, I will let the team know oh so on on my shift last night with stag we did see some smoke in the distance yeah. oh you, you sure that was what kind of smoke I was uh, gonna say, was the whole party still asleep, or did yeah. somebody, you know, was somebody sleeping while they were awake? Walk off. Uh, yeah. I mean, well, it was while while everybody was asleep, but yeah, we just didn't think it was enough to alert anyone. It was it, far was enough it away. This? Like, was it was it in this direction? Was it possibly a fire about the size of you know this? Possibly waves around. Yes. Thinking back on it now, yeah. Who could have foreseen? <laughs> Certainly no one. But, hmm. Um, 
you guys want to find out what happened to a person whose ass got dragged or do you guys want to leave yeah um i mean i've I, my thought is if we're leaving on this road and we haven't run into what ass got dragged by now we're gonna hit it eventually well i mean pd did you say the trail D &D, leads so yeah but in into the forest uh yeah it kind of leads off into like into the forest into uh uh some areas on the uh down the road and i'll give you this guy uh for free that the trail of humanoids that you can tell um they seem to kind of like move off uh, and you can kind of like i'll say you walk down a little bit and you notice at some point that the the in different parts but you can see like the distinct like print of somebody like uh launching up as if getting on a vehicle like that and then every mm. once in like a uh, so like they mounted on a vehicle and left and further down the road goblins and then that's the humanoids so that's the human like that's the road packs. and then the goblins went off into the into the uh into the forest right so we've got a multifaceted problem and grong is like said like oh i mean there's an idea i mean it, um we can, uh, if you want to go off and see, uh, you know, because you don't know if it looks like they're still bleeding. So who knows if we want to help them out. But uh, we can clear this out of the way and keep going down the road till about the distance we would have gone for and and get camp ready for you guys. So so you guys can can uh, go check this out and, and come meet us. Yeah, you know, splitting the party. Uh, hmm. Totally, let's do it. That sounds right. I, or yeah. I mean. Yes, and. <laughs> no, no, I feel like we need to follow the goblin tracks. We're 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 D and D Let's do some D and D. <laughs> let's do it. Let's be heroes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Just for one day. <laughs> um. All right, so you guys go off on to... Uh, yeah, we're going to follow these yeeks. <laughs> uh, I, love, uh, I love looking down at the surface and seeing our, our airplane mode. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Nobody can. Yeah, nobody I, else can see it. <laughs> but no, we're I, enjoying like, it. That's all I saw. I didn't know that other things were going on. I was like, man, that's weird. Like, <laughs> and I'm like Bruce here? No, he's not. He's not in the airplane. He's in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's he's in the. You know what? He, see, look, look how tiny we are. He's in the seat behind me. Yeah, <laughs> Drew's. In, that's why it is, Drew. You're in the seat behind me, and look. Mm -hmm. Considering how tiny we are, you can't like. <laughs> yeah, these are just like, very large seats. <laughs> it's like, uh, this is an amazing leg room. It's supposed to be a huge plane. Um, as we talk about oh, things I, that they, the audience can't see. PD's in here three times. Yeah. <laughs> He's uh, well, picking and, up all the seats. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. PD's book got a seat, but Drew didn't. So. <laughs> I wonder if Lucha, of Lucha door bottle opener is going to get a seat. Been pushing back all the shows. I get it. It's my fault. It's pushed me out of the plane. I mean, Harry Potter, eighty-five yeah. percent. Push you out of the plane with ninety-nine other people. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. who's co who's who's coming and who's not coming on our on this fantastic voyage? Uh, Grung and Brock are like, well, we're gonna take Steg and we're gonna uh push forward and set up camp for y'all. All oh, right. Hey. We'll try to come back in one piece. <laughs> Uh, have to do that yes yeah uh yes. also uh did you uh, don't end up being this flaming pile of dead horses and cart that would suck yes. uh, i have it on I, authority I, I, that stuff like that can happen yes uh we don't plan on it uh trust me trust me. We, we, we we can we have our contingencies 
I, 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 I trust you, you do this for a living, but still. Yes. Um, yeah, I, uh, good luck. <laughs> if it weren't for that horse. Um, all right, let's go. Already got their stuff. I, I'm, I'm, I'm Which stuffed stuff? up. Everyone, everyone's right. got snacks and everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm playing cross-eyed Mary on my flute. Got your, uh, orange slices. Or orange slice, actual <laughs> slices of orange or like the, 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 the. The like candy <laughs> or orange wedges, orange wedges. Yeah. Uh, um, orange wedges, man. I feel we got a lot of jerky, but we're good to go. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, yeah. as you guys gather yourselves, um, to uh, as you guys gather yourself, uh, you guys, uh, go into the uh into into the woods into the woods um and um let's see who is going to lead the the trek who's going to lead the 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 trail following i i will take point because that way somebody else can get an unobstructed view over the top of me <laughs> We can go right behind you. Yeah, we, we're we're like we're like a reverse master blaster. Um, Who's the best at uh, following <laughs> trails? <laughs> I got a plus five to wisdom. Wait, I, we have a, we a have a woodsman this. and another and a guy who hangs out in the woods. I think maybe yeah, we have guys we go. have t- we <laughs> have two like people track. that like I was gonna say like I'll take point and then you were like I'll take point and I was like. And then you guys like oh, I was like all right, <laughs> you guys talk about it. So we can <laughs> work this out. We can hash this out. Not the not the two forest freaks. No. <laughs> well, hey, you know, take the lead. Just, if I'll, I'll you want it, take it. Go for it. City, city boys. They all wander <laughs> forward like city slickers. Musician, and... city boy, and fucking bookworm nerd decide to take point. All right. Fine, you guys have at it. I'm gonna go to the back now, just because. <laughs> Whatever, you can you can go up front that's now, Solero. That's, that's fine. fine. I'll, I'll just go live in my little hobbit hole. <laughs> I mean, um, I think I think yeah, I think he has a point. He probably uh, you know, he's probably should to watch it. Yeah. Summer has a better survival than I do. <laughs> oh no, I would be taking point because yeah. yeah. Oh, definitely. First uh, you. Uh, so go ahead and give me a survival check, Solero. Lucius, like, he, but hey, man. he like nice. he, it's all about the journey, man. For Lucius, exactly. It's all about he doesn't yeah, need to know how to get to, there because he's already the there, animals, man. The world will take me. I, I could have take me where I need because wherever he is, he's there. Yes, it's the, so, the the express. Exactly. Wherever I go, that's where I am. Exactly. Um, yeah, it, you do a pretty good. So this is this is uh, your deal. So once you get that description of like the goblin prints and the dragging and things like that, once you start getting to the grass, obviously it's not as pronounced those prints and things like that. But it, you can you can find all that stuff fairly easily um and and it takes you not but like uh i would say like an hour an hour and a half maybe a couple hours of kind of like slowly kind of like following the trails um till you get to like what looks like a uh like a slight a fairly elevated hill and kind of like a cave opening that goes uh down uh and into into a cave uh into a cave <laughs> and uh describe this cave <laughs> what does this cave look like from the outside it's just fairly nondescript just kind of like this uh natural opening into into uh this what looks like a fairly moistened rock area uh, you know it's fairly fairly moist in there are some some would uh, daryl the trek nerd say that this resembles a piece of anatomy probably okay you know so we're we're going to very uh 
Georgia O'Keefe of uh, of caves. <laughs> um, cool caves. Yes, we're all well of all of us with our torches and our cave spelunking gear. This is this is gonna be great. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, yeah. Do you guys uh, go in? <laughs> of course, absolutely. You, speak friend uh, and first. Yeah. I check for traps. Uh, yeah, I mean, go ahead and check for traps. I don't have any in my pockets, but oh, you're looking for traps in there. Okay. Like Arkham There's Horror, where it's like, do you stick your hand in the crevasse? Uh, let me give you a hand with that. I would love to have a hand with that because I should <laughs> not be hey, the one hold doing on. this. How about you let me take a look? I would love to let you take a look. <laughs> okay. It's like I rolled a fifteen. Nice. Um, you feel pretty confident. You look around that there's nothing, there's no traps or, uh, anything that would, uh, bite you if you, if you walk through in here. Uh, it's fairly quiet. So there's nothing that looks like it would bite us in here. Yeah. And there's nothing like, there's no, there's no like, uh, trip wires or, or any pressure plates or anything like that. Um, if I were to set a trap, I would set one here, but it's not here. Yeah. So, so as far um, as you can tell, I think we're good. pretty safe. Yeah um so but who knows adventure <laughs> huzzah um so solera you're gonna take point again <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh all right That's so big. yeah <laughs> as you walk through i do have dark vision and a high survival yes hey, that's cool i've seen oh you do have dark Doom. vision yeah he's yeah, a half, half elf. elf oh that's right i think we're, we're i had all, in my mind you were a human <laughs> no, it's a little point no, years i'm the human you're the human yeah. Yeah, but he he has he has he has Do vision. He has the third eye vision. You have a for I think you have dark vision because of your other thing. <laughs> yeah. But but yeah, you do have dark. Sense to me. Yes. I don't know what you're speaking of exactly. at all. <laughs> no, uh, that hasn't been fucking figured out. Let me just drink this uh Coors Light uh and uh Yes. You know, the oh, the silver bullet. bullet. Yeah, there, there we go. <laughs> the yeah, silver bullet. Uh, I wonder. Really glad I made all this pasta. <laughs> with this nice, nice garlicky sauce. Yes. Yes. Um. All right. So as oh, you guys oh, want to enter, I don't. I, okay. I don't know if any of you have seen the the people playing the quarry or play the quarry, but there's a way that people turn into lycanthropes that is explosive, and it's now the only way that people turn. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> with blood splatters of their skin flying off and that's I'm, it's like i'm I'm there for that that's yes. my new i've been meaning to watch the next lander playthrough of the course so I'm, like I'm, I'm, let's I'm, say you don't want to animate skin and fur just have that skin explode off and then you got a werewolf that's skin yes um like a chihuahua <laughs> That's fascinating. I got, I got to check out because I think we, uh, Daisy and I were talking about like the the you know, playing the next lander one. I was either gonna watch the next lander playthrough, and or the scary game squad playthrough. Uh, I, I it, it definitely is worth seeing some Ted Raimi, and n I did not know that werewolves could do anything new. Werewolves, we're werewolves, werewolves. Um. Ah. Uh, yes. <laughs> we, yeah. We. Yeah. Yes. MST3K has cursed both of us with exactly. wheels. Wear wheels. Um shout out to hey, if y'all have Pluto, uh there's a 24-7 uh MST3K channel just going yeah. all the time. And a Rift Track channel, but they have their Twitch as well. So um Yeah, but you can you can you can watch Puma Man, you can watch you can watch Overdrawn at the Memory Bank. I've done it all, and Daisy was with yeah. me. It's like the like the song says, Poo, my man. He flies like a moron. A moron. <laughs> um, but yes, you guys go into this cave. Uh, back to D and D, uh, and you see what you see in front of you. You see uh, mostly just an empty cave. Uh, and you're welcome to explore. As, as you see in front of you, it's it's a fairly sizable entrance area um it's mostly pretty barren uh with like you see stalactites like with water kind of dripping down um and these kind of like natural outcroppings and natural formations uh in this open area it's mostly 
uh moist uh floor with like the occasional puddle um around uh but it's fairly uh open area and it kind of like um from what you can tell if you look down you can t you can see that it kind of like goes off to the right to the east Mm. All right. So, oh. Oh, what would like? What would you like to do? We need to like light a torch or anything. Nah. Oh, <laughs> good. We can all see. Yeah, Let's, we're good. Yeah. Who, who doesn't have dark vision? <laughs> you know what? If they have a problem, they'll raise their voice. Yeah. What is it? Mortal is like um. Let me know if uh of uh if uh, if I need to uh do a torch, but I'll I'll, I'll just hang back and okay. But I don't want to like you... give away our position. You can yeah. always hold my hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. The, the uh, okay. Buddy the pseudo dragons. <laughs> and the pseudo the... dragons have dark vision. <laughs> Uh, is like, is is you kind of like bring up the idea? Is like, all right, you. everybody can like see, and they be like, and pseudo dragon brings in the idea is like he he's fine. <laughs> yeah, I think pseudo dragons have sixty foot, so sixty he, foot. He, he, yeah, they, he's good. And ten feet of blind sight. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. So we're good. Um. That's why he could see in that like magical darkness I mean, he, he he doesn't need to see i think it's more of like an echolocation thing but i don't know so uh let's uh let, let, let's keep poking I'm, I'm gonna poke a little bit here um is there anything other than you know no everything's it's just yeah it's fairly empty really it's kind of cavey in here yeah for empty and cavey yeah. No, guys. I think there's something going on over here to the right. Oh, but to the right? Yeah, it seems to open yeah. up a little bit. Yeah. As you can see, it kind of like opens up. You see this like hallway. Um, this like well, hallway, but like uh, opening, and it, <laughs> it kind it, of like. It's not working for me. <laughs> so you'll have to move <laughs> oh, me. No. I'll, I'll watch on the monitor. Uh, let me move Chavo a little bit for you. Keep yeah, get, up. You, get your go goat under control, Solera. Yeah, yes. this is great. I love this. Get your goat. Yeah. Um, like so yeah, as you can see the path, like, too. uh, uh, you can see the path kind of splits off, uh, to the left and the right. Uh, fork in the road. Do we notice the? Because the tracks went in here. Do we notice uh, them going down either way or? Yeah, you so if you keep track of the of the tracks, you do notice that it, it the tracks go to the to the left. To the left. Take it back now, y'all. Mm -hmm. All so, right. Yeah, always go left. That's the rule. <laughs> I don't right, make them, so. I just follow them. Always go left. If I'm, if I'm I don't know, I think point. following the be drag, sure to drag your drag, be sure to drag Chavo I'm gonna drag with you. My butt. Oh shit, where's Chavo? Back here. I, I'm gonna guess. Yeah. He's bottlenecking the whole thing. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> oh, wait. I moved. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Let me turn so on as I move, GM I'm just vision. poking like I'm like a hole punch. I'm punching light holes into the map yeah. as I move my character because I can't see anything through the black. That's kind of fun. Oh, uh, that's funny. Cause you do almost half MVP do halflings. Problem. I don't know. If, maybe halflings don't have yeah. dark vision. Do have dark vision? Yeah, halflings have dark vision. But I I think Brett just can't move though, right? Uh, no, I, I can't trouble. see it. It does. The map oh, didn't open me... up lighting, lighting wise. Oh, weird. try refreshing. Uh, do you, does it work now? Cause I gave you dark vision. Cause for some reason your character didn't have dark vision. Yeah. I refreshed and now nothing is working. I don't actually I don't I mean, see dark vision yeah, under halfling traits. 
Yeah, I'm I'm looking up now. I'm I actually might not have dark vision. So <laughs> I'm looking at a D and D meme, halfling dark vision, fifth edition. And the, the meme's not there. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like yeah, half halflings don't have dark vision. <laughs> Uh, let me because uh, because this is so great. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll just post this in the in the this because mm -hmm. I am not alone. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be using the the uh, the, the pseudo dragon and uh, and mortal technique. Uh, it's like uh, if it was pseudo. Uh, Sue kind of like sits on your shoulders, like, and just kind of like, n like nudges you in certain directions. <laughs> um, yeah. um, if I'm still following the footsteps. So yeah, you as you're going forward, so you get the path, and you see how like it goes forward and kind of hooks a little bit, but mostly goes forward into a clearing, and it goes to the right. The uh, footprints, uh keep going straight and like they seem to kind of adjust for the space and try to like they kind of you kind of like they disappear almost behind the butt prints but almost like they have to like pull from behind <laughs> yeah wait i gotta go backwards god damn it yeah <laughs> You know, my people come from these places. We used to we we hollow out our own, but it has fine crafted woodwork and uh, mm -hmm. and pseudo pipe, dragon pipe helps smoke. you kind of get to here. And to here, dwarves that do dishes in a weird way, and uh, mortal is mortal. Uh, is mortal still holding Summer's hand? No, he's mortal's holding my hand. Who's your okay. both blind leading the blind? Who's leading you guys? Two. The blind yeah. leading the blind. Well, who's leading the blind? Well, uh, uh, pseudo okay. Sue is okay. leading uh, Toby. Sweet. I don't okay, know if, cool. I don't know if I'm you're leading grab mortal. mortal by his teenage mutant ninja turtle hand. Okay. Also, if I'm here, uh, I'm gonna ask a question. Okay, so yeah, you go, yeah. and then it leads okay. to here, uh, yeah. and you Do see I the fire. Do I notice something going on? So if you peek around the corner. Uh, and I would say, are you approaching stealthily? Yes, I was. Go I was just going to say, can I move? Like, make it, where was I? Uh, yeah, yeah. Can I make this move and stealth it? Yeah, go ahead and yeah, give me a stealth check. God damn it! <laughs> Let me see their passive for a second. Well, What's the number? Your sneakiness. <laughs> eight. It's yeah, it's an eight. That's what. I was like, oh, this, this should be. I was gonna say, it was like, oh, this should be, this should be fairly easy. It's like uh, looking at their past reception. It's like, um, you. I mean, as you kind of like go over there, you kind of like trying to sneak in there, but you kind of like you. It is slick, and you overestimate kind of like, especially with the focus on knowing that you kind of like are trying to also see what's happening in front of you. Um, you have kind of like this quick little lapse of judgment. And step on a like a smooth stone that's a little too slick, uh, and you kind of like slip. You catch yourself easily, uh, but it does move a couple of stones and kind of makes a little rattling noise, like like a little like crunching noise, a big crunching noise. Um, what you see uh, in this moment before anybody notices you is you see um, two. Uh, uh, goblins. Uh, let me actually see if I can find. Uh, or actually, uh, did I go goblin? Uh, uh, let me see. No, goblin D's nuts. I'll just give them. Oh, got them. It's not these exact ones, but they're, they're, let me give something that looks a little bit more nicer. Um, they're not inventors or anything or alchemists, but it's just it looks nice. Um, I, I gotta I gotta say the amount of D's nuts jokes uh, has uh, increased uh, because of Vinnie Caravella's child 
yeah. using D's nuts wrong and it being mm-hmm. the funniest thing ever. And the thought of saying D's nuts in the incorrect manner is uh, the greatest thing ever. Like, right. so. Um, let me see if I can move the cam so it Those can. nuts. It's been so long since we've bass guitar talked. I don't have anything. To bass, I haven't had anything to bass guitar talk about. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's see. I'm, I'm thinking again that it would be really good to get. I don't know. I I have I have issues with hum, on my, bass, and I don't know if it's the, pickups or the preamp. Or just the wiring thereof, uh, because the the strategy I always hear of oh just uh, set the pickup selector knob to be straight up and down and you'll get rid of the hum. It doesn't work. So I don't know if one of the pickups is wired backward. Because also right when I get it right in the middle, it just really drops out. Is it a weird phase thing? Because if that, that does I, make me wonder if you have weird yeah. winding. It's back. Maybe. Yeah. See, I'm a, I, I just solved that problem. <laughs> you don't, don't need to worry about no hum when you've got like this gigantic, dumb, like, it's not one fender pickup. single hum bucker. That, that's, a, that's right. Just the mud bucker it all day long. It'll only yeah. sound like one thing. And <laughs> it'll, it'll be nasal. Right. Um, but yeah, so um, the what you oh, see huh. is a pair of goblin uh, goblins goblins goblin goblins Grub- goblins. Um, what you see is a pair of goblins uh, standing there, very plainly clothed, uh, and uh, just kind of like standing by a bed, like a cot, like a like a bedroll. Um that uh is occupied by a humanoid figure uh but best you can see um and uh before you can really kind of assess more of the situation they turn it was like ah, uh hello ah uh, 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 uh. And he says, say something to each other in, in like what seems like goblins. Or whatever. Hello? You say it in common, but like. Uh, and then, like, they're like, ah. Let me see if they can. Bonjour. I jump into hiding real quick after <laughs> I see this and sort of relay, like, hey guys. You might have a small problem. I mean, I've they got a big problem because I can't see it. Please don't. Please, please don't hurt us. Hello? Oh. Ah. You're just out, guys. Okay, Mm-mm. uh... Mm-mm. So no. give me a, a... So Solero. Yeah. Give me a perception check. This one I'll probably roll fun. Huh, oh, weird. Um, so yeah, so you kind of like get a look and you kind of like... Um... Uh, at the scene and you see the two... Uh, you see, and, and, and this trail goes to where they're at, and this person on the on the bed, and what you can kind of see from here, and it's a little tricky to make out. It looks like maybe there was some rudimentary attempts at uh, wound dressing. Uh, he seems to have like, uh, s- like claws around certain areas and on like the torso and the arms um that are that are kind of blood stained a little bit uh and uh the the, they're kind of like and whoever it is 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 unconscious right right now oh so it was non-consensual okay Uh, but but it was whoever it, it it was seems to be like something trying to treat 
wounds as best you can tell it's hard to tell exactly what the, what happened from this area but you can kind of see that um, back in whoever can see over to try to take a look um like saying like guys i think whoever these two were was trying to help somebody like well. trying to get them to notice like the bandages and stuff like that and they're kind of looking I at I really there. feel like we should like cautiously approach them and tell them we don't mean any harm. But maybe we do mean them harm. Tell them that. <laughs> I can't I tell them if I wanted to. <laughs> okay. I would love to be able to tell them. I would I think you would love if I was How? able to tell them, but I don't oh. think I can go and find them. Yeah. Where can I I mean well, well, I will say uh, you don't know you can, I will say, at this point, you probably see, I don't know if you can, I don't know if the lighting is working for you, but you can kind of see a little bit of faint remnants of, like, maybe a flickering flame next to next to Solero from where you're looking. It's hard to tell. Uh, you can kind of see the outline in his face. Uh, but, yeah, Solero, you... I'm confident, you, you, but I'm not is, that confident. Uh, but yeah, Solero, obviously you can tell if you want to tell them that there's also a, a you can see that there's also a campfire in, in front of them and it's lighting the area. Yeah, ah. like I I was assuming as I was bringing people out, like sort of saying like, hey, look by that fire. It looks like they're trying to help whatever person they dragged in here. Not doing a great job of it, but doing it. I don't know. They've they've managed to do air ventilation inside of a cave, so I think they're they're good. So, uh, what let, let's do this. Uh, who who's who's going to be the doer? I, who I'm I'm in, I'm not intimidating. We have a volunteer oh, to talk. I'll to do people. it. I got it. Okay. okay. As a as a, you're going to have to steer me though. Sue kind of like guides you, and you know, like bump your bump your shoulder on the, on the rock. And like, start move like oh, oh i guess i walk up with toby like sort of hands up sort of like i like they're playing uh, a song hello, hello, hello. and then they you can see they're like they're like uh they point they're, they're like pointing like uh, knives at you and like but like very shaky like and they're 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 not daggers they're just like maybe like very crude kitchen knives <laughs> like like okay uh i what can you walk toby a little closer <laughs> maybe half the distance he is i was like oh okay. are you gonna, i'm gonna look i'm gonna look directly at those goblins with their knives and i'm gonna be like cut that out I, <laughs> what am i gonna do flute you to death and i pull my flute out like uh we're not if we wanted to hurt you we would have already hurt you uh, uh, give, me, uh, give me a persuasion check <laughs> and do i walk up and help him <laughs> i rolled a so, 10 uh, yeah you can do it with advantage because like you're both like trying to be a calming like okay. if, if a bit like <laughs> sardonic with it you're still trying to be like hey it's, everything's calm everything's good yeah, the 10 is what we're going to take. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to say this is a, a fairly low DC because they're pretty receptive. It's like, oh, are you, are you, okay, if you're, you're sure. Okay, uh, what's going on here? Well, uh, we, I don't know exactly what ha happened, but we, we heard a lot of commotion. Uh, hearing a lot of commotion uh, from from the road, and we were like, just uh just doing our our thing trying to just, we just woke up uh after heading out here to do some foraging but uh uh we saw this burning uh cart and these dead horses and like we saw this guy and he he kind of had been left for dead and and yeah yeah and um we kind of like we saw that he was left for dead and uh, he was bleeding out, but we we thought like he was he was completely dead, and we checked on him, and he was like he was heavy breathing, and he kind of like 
seemed like he was kind of laying out. So, like, uh, we kind of panicked and we started dragging him out here because we knew we had, like, a, a cave area. We had this cave area set up to, to sleep the night. Uh, and I don't know, we figured it was better to for him to not be on the road in case those people came back and uh, we're kind of we're kind of a little over our heads as far as like we're not really good with medicine okay and hold on uh mortal uh uh, uh uh lucius uh me let's let's Yo. let's go see what we're dealing with here we uh -huh. all have the abilities yeah what are we looking at with this wounded person so who is honestly who is probably gonna mortal is probably gonna go up and volunteer and check on him uh not to not to have the dmpc do it but he realistically he is the best skill yeah he would be the one i mean i can he's do kind a of the one word, that's been healing all of us yeah. yeah so like we we convincingly say hey mortal yeah yes party member <laughs> yeah yeah so he, he comes up it's like i right, let me check uh And yeah. you killed him. <laughs> it's like, ah, yeah. It was like, he's already, um, um, uh, so, yeah, he, he looks like he kind of was bleeding out a bit. He, he more or less stabilized himself, but he's still unconscious and pretty critical. Um, uh, let me see. What, 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 what can I do for him? Um, let me see. Um, I don't want to. Don't mix up as I dig through my bag. Well, don't want to do this potion of growth. That that'd be a mistake. Where are my um, are all mortal spells? What the hell happened? Oh, like a an odd dropper on the end of a potion of hill giant strength. Um. Well, um. I wish I could sing to him and make him better. <laughs> I can't do that. You should be able to. You've had a long rest. Well, I mean, I, 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 I could, but I, it would not be, I would, it'd be better off just throwing yeah, some yeah. potion down his throat because I need that magic more than I need that potion. Yeah. Because I have um, a feeling my ass is about to get kicked. Well, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, administer some healing. Uh, let me uh, kind of open his mouth a little bit. Um, and he pulls out, he kind of like uh, pulls from his bag. Uh, one of the potions of healing, uh, and kind of like gently pours it into the into the guy's mouth, and you can see it's a it's a human uh, uh, a human um, man, a human male, human man, a man. Uh, uh, male human, uh, kind of like uh, short, scruffy, like black hair, uh, a little bit of like a uh, a scruffy beard, um, plain clothes, obviously kind of like with like wounds on his body, bleed, you know, who, who he was bleeding from, um, but, uh, relatively like, like youngish, like maybe like in his thirties, uh, but it seems like he might be a, like a, like a driver, uh, like a cart driver. Um, we'll find out soon. So, and yeah, he does the. So we heal him so we can torture him. <laughs> uh, which is way more than he needs. Let's see. Eight healing, which uh, is a uh, good more than recover all four of his hit points. Uh, pretty damn good. <laughs> so now he's full health. He's. <laughs> he's, he's... <laughs> Starts to cough. He's like, ah, ah, yes. Ah, uh, he's he's, uh, he's doing well. Uh, well, uh, we're gonna we're gonna back up five feet just to just to, just to be safe because we know um people kind of react bad to goblins. Uh, so we're like, you know, they don't say watch that, your step there. Don't don't step in the fire. Ah, thank you. Uh, and, and the humans like <laughs> coughing, swallowing the healing potion waking up and as as he wakes up is like uh, not, uh, I don't 
think goblins are that scary. Uh, he kind of opens his eyes roughly. He looks up at the at the turtle. He's like, okay. Uh, uh, <coughs> he looks over. Oh yeah, goblins. Huh. Cool. Uh, how, how, kind of like kind of slightly props himself up on his like elbows and like on his elbow and kind of like holds his side where you see like it had a fairly sizable wound that was bleeding uh his like things are starting to heal around him with the potion but like yeah it's still you can tell he's still in a little bit of pain he's like oh uh, hi uh Oh, who are you? Uh, who uh, I, I am, am I? Tobold uh, Underborough. And it. we just followed what looked like uh, your ass that got dragged all the way into this cave. Uh, because we saw what happened to, we presume, what happened to you on the road. Um, yeah, what about, what about the rest of us? Uh, uh, who, who, who be us? Uh, uh, my, my, my passengers. Uh, 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 we, we can account for two horses. We saw two horses and your legs going oh. backwards. So that's right. Oh, how are Skipper and Clopper? Um, it got bad news for you. They're so about those other people. They're living a better life. They, they, they're, they're, they're at the farm. They're uh, across the Rainbow themselves. Bridge. That's right. Uh, I mean, yeah. I'm Why you knew Clark? Saying how oh, I am, I probably. They'll never be your beast of burden. They've walked for miles. Their, their feet are hurting. They're good horses. Um, yeah, those uh, had a couple passengers. Uh that were I was transporting to uh to Port Tamale and we kind of like wanted to make good time so we we decided to go a little bit later than usual and on the road before we set up camp and um and oh, we kind so of just, uh but so what happened uh who who did this to you uh, I mean, it was, it was hard to tell. It was like we heard screaming and footprints, and then there were several uh, screaming people footprints. With, yes, I don't know. But we, we heard like a lot of yelling. It was like yelling by these figures and these footprints as they just ambushed us out from the woods. And, and I was, hey. I was Dead kind there. of slashed and stabbed and. Okay, it's roughly look? how large is they? Um, people size. And in, and in what quantity? I, I'm a people. What, what size well, am I? Yeah, like, <laughs> not 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 humongous, but yeah, I think one of them was your size, and I think one, a couple of them were my size. So people oh. size. So, but yeah, I like uh, those. Those are. Uh, a smaller one but they were about i don't know hmm. what they were but it was all kind of like a blur and i honestly i wouldn't be able to count give you a count maybe three maybe four maybe five and was, how many people were with you on this journey three hmm the magic number yeah I mean, um Well, uh, I'm glad to see you're doing better. Um, this wasn't exactly what we were expecting, a cave full of uh, a wounded man and two goblins, but... Uh, uh, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we kind of, like, found you at the on the road, and we kind of brought you here to our the cave we were used last night. Um, we, try, uh, we couldn't really help you much more than that, but... Sorry about that. Uh, we, that we don't, we're not good at medicine, but we, 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 we we're trying. But the dude's alive, so you did something. Yeah, I mean, look, yeah, he, he did a pretty good job dressing the wounds. I mean, I'd 
probably wouldn't have made it through the night without this. So, <sighs> well, how long do you think it's been that we've been in this cave? Uh, not very long. Hours? Maybe like not very no, long? Not, not, okay. not hours. Like maybe like how 10 long minutes. are we sneaking? <laughs> like maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes. Like something like that. Okay. Yeah. I'm just like, well, we have other people with us. We are on the road ourselves, and we came across this nightmare. But I believe this isn't the nightmare we were looking for. Our nightmare is in another castle. So we need to probably find whatever is going on and meet up with the rest of our people before too much longer because time is of the essence. Uh, you guys, uh, where are you guys headed? Uh, ultimately uh on the guarden I, I hang out with the guardens fishermen i don't know uh i forget what we're doing in Gu well, yeah i know what we're doing gordon but that's not my story to tell <laughs> what are we doing in gordon wind and summer Heading down roundabout jen uh well i've never heard of that uh who that is but uh i, I um so uh I probably wouldn't be able to help you out with that, but um are you guys um you guys said you have people you guys in a you guys have a caravan? Well, uh of sorts. Like a caravan of one. Um but uh Yeah, we have like a we have a we were rolling with uh was like a carriage and a cart, a couple of people. Yeah. And there's been some traffic. Yeah. I you've already done so much for me but um, can I can I uh, shut your butt and come with us okay alright alright uh, he tries to get up and like the, the goblins come over and try to like help him up and like they're trying their best to kind of like help him give him a hand but they're all shorter <laughs> like I'll, I'll go over and, and give him a shoulder to lean on. He's like, oh, thank you. Thank when you. you're not strong. I'm like, he's, but he's, I do want to ask these goblins, like, what possessed you to just drag this random man two hours into this cave? I mean, no, we're not. Um, uh, it's a good cave. It, it's it's a, they're able to light a fire inside of this cave. Yeah, we, like, we, and we, not we, die. Okay. Yeah, it's, so. It's, this Pretty place awesome is, cave. we had it last night and it, there's some there's some like holes that go up, up above the hill and like some like cavities that go up so like the smoke gets out uh well when we light this fire and and we we kind of like uh we only needed the one bedroom so like we we just slept that's kind of where we slept last night and it was pretty comfy and i mean just imagine carrying like you and me carrying Petey two hours to a cave, but it's a really cool I cave. I it's just um, I don't know. It's just there was nobody else around, and and we weren't sure what to do, and we did we were we didn't want him to die. We just we were worried, and just so I don't, we we're trying to figure out the best thing to do, and. And Toby's going to walk around the side of the guy and look at the back of his pants to see if his butt rubbed thin. <laughs> like if his, uh, if his, his it's very, it's very, his, his butt on his pants is very dirty and it's like a little bit worn. The fabric is a little worn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. He's going to keep Whoa. that to himself though. Like, cause it's like <laughs> that, that butt was dragging for a long time. Uh, yeah. Uh, kind of, yeah. as he gets just... up, he's like, Oh man. Yeah. My ass does really hurt. <laughs> get him a salve. Yeah, you need to get next uh, time you get dragged across the, the the woods by two people. Make sure that they're over five foot tall. Yeah, I will do that. Uh, uh, uh yeah, I'll, I'll just get the goblins. That triangle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was really kind of you to just you know help the stranger and take him to a place you knew would be safe. You yeah. guys did well. Uh, is there? I mean. Anything you guys need? Um, uh, I mean, we just, you know, we're, 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 uh, we're doing fine. I mean, if you've got any, like, um, 
you got any like uh good like mushrooms or herbs um or you know where we can like find some good ones um can i go animal and... red well <laughs> I, we're taking it back because our, our uh we're taking we're kind of like having on a foraging run uh for our um for our clan uh uh my our boss uh needs it for like alchemical work uh so we're like looking for different herbs and and reagents and stuff like that like to bring back to him uh, he pays us for whatever you can find and so like uh, we're just looking for that stuff so if you, have, if you need any of that if you have any like cool stuff like that or you know where we can find some uh, uh, other than that we're pretty okay well okay. I'm fresh out of fungus yeah Oh. I don't really have anything like that well and you know what? Next, keep an eye out for that stuff because that's always that's always uh, useful. You never know what you can find. Uh, it's like uh, immortal kind of like goes like, um, you're looking for some uh, reagents. Uh, I can help you out with that. And, uh, uh, immortal kind of walks over. Is like, you, uh, does he, you you have an alchemist with you? Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, well, what kind of stuff do he work on? Works on? Uh, hey, he's working on like some potions and salves and things like that um he also kind of like has fun stuff like some bombs and like bombs and they're fun fun bombs and they blow up and go boom and this is fun stuff uh and then like they do different effects and no lucius he said bomb bomb oh, okay. bomb. Oh. Yeah. bomb um and uh and some you can throw some you can like you just got one that you can like it has like a glue on it and then like it sticks to people uh and it well it, before it blows up uh oh wow yeah i've heard tales of people using those while uh spelunking in caves yeah they're fun um well um i got some stuff right here uh you need anything and he opens his component pouch like i guess uh milkweed you need some milkweed i've got a few extra it's like oh that's that'll be huge for that uh and they kind of like they just uh, just to have this like conversation of like looking at stuff and then like to for the sake of brevity they just kind of you see them like talk about that stuff they most it mostly goes no, above no, no. the I goblins want more pd role plays with pd it's, it's like <laughs> nolan north talking to nolan north uh, Batman games. It's and great. it mostly uh mostly goes over the guy's heads but they understand kind of a little bit of what he what at least at least that they were given a, at least some information on what to look for so like he gives them a couple of things here and there and they they talk about that so, oh that's oh, awesome um all right uh okay well, friend, uh, he, and one of them walks over. Well, friend, you take care of yourself. Uh, you guys uh, make sure it's okay uh, in case you need it. And he pulls out a coin purse. It has a few gold coins. He hands him a gold coin. He's like, here, take care of yourself right there. And the goblin hands him a little gold coin. He's like, uh, he's like well, thank you. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> and Summer's just going to tell the goblins, uh, have fun with your bombs. Yes, we will. use that for good. Oh, we use it for fun. Uh, I but... catch wind of you guys being naughty. Sounds pretty fun. Hurting people. Oh, no, this is not for... Find you. We don't do... We don't hurt people for for fun. No, no. We hurt um, rocks. <laughs> like, in like, uh, we set up these, like, uh, big wooden targets. And we just throw bombs and watch them go boom, and splinters go everywhere, and it's fun. <laughs> yeah, that does sound pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, and uh, watermelons. Who hasn't wanted to do that? Watermelons, man. Yeah. That, that's that's. Just uh, just be sure to wear your proper PPE when you do that. Oh yeah, like, of course. First. We got goggles and everything. Season for those things to grow. Good deal. <laughs> And he, he literally goes into his, his the pouch on his left side. They they both go into the pouch on their left side. Pull out these like r like neat little like goggles that fit perfectly on on their face. And they kind of like they don't strap it on. They just kind of hold the the goggle part to their face and into their eyes. And they're and it makes their eyes like 
humongous looking. <laughs> the little like eyes, humongous looking, oh. like they're being bottled. Is yeah. there like a like a dried watermelon seed stuck to a lens? <laughs> right. Oh yeah, that's where that. Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah. Snack for later. There you go. Yeah. yeah. He puts it. He put it back in there. All right. Uh, we should ask this guy, uh, this human dude uh, who's injured. What's your name, buddy? Uh, what can we call you? What did I do? What did I? Uh, as I look through notes, <laughs> trying to pull things up, or go to fantasynamegenerator.com. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Nugget is just absolutely singing the song of his people right now. I mean, he was up here, but he knew that I was going to grab him and put him on camera. So he was like, I'm going to stay like just inches out of grasp. He's like chirruping and doing his tiny kitten meow and he's exploring the closet right now. He is not very good at making noises come out of his mouth. Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. My, uh, uh, the name's uh Luca, Luca Dunn. Luca, let's get you out of here. Yeah. And I take his shoulder, and start leading him out. All right. Well, oh, oh crap. Uh, uh, oh, uh, we all the pleasantries. I, I didn't even ask you guys your names. Uh, you said you were, uh, uh, like the goblin's like, hey, you, uh, you were Toby. Uh, well, what are you guys called? Uh. In case I see you guys, you know, again. Wind in summer. Ah, that's a cool name. Thank you. Lucius. Lucius. Uh, he looks over to Solero. Uh, <laughs> I need His a, name is I muted. A... <laughs> I thought he was being quiet. It's like, I'm not saying. I, I did too. I'm like. Oh, he's being. Being so quiet, I forgot. I was being quiet, but I also forgot to hit the button. Yes. So, I was saying it under my breath, Solero. Ah, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, uh, the name's, uh, oh, it, it, it's like, oh, my name's Mortal. Uh, this here's, uh, Sue, uh, the pseudo dragon. And that's Chavo. He's pretty cool. Ah, uh, wonderful to meet y'all. Uh, and it's like the, the one on the bottom. He's like, points and I was like, the name's Ilix. Uh, I think in common, I uh, just spell it uh, I L I K X. I don't know why, but you know, it's weird when he, how you guys commonize certain names, but Ilix. Uh, it sounds different in Goblin, but like uh, it ends up Ilix. Um, then my buddy, uh, Stilb. Uh, I think it's a. Uh, in common, how do you, how do you, hey, still, how do you play, spell your name in common? Um, um, uh, I think it's like S T I L B. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's us. You know, if you see, we kind of live in a, uh, well, we kind of go straight there, but we live, uh, in a, in, in an old town, an old, uh, uh, clan village over, uh, in the, uh, Maybe we'll find the, the place where it's called. In the marshes. Uh, in. We kind of have a little spot. Uh, uh, closer to the coast in the Silt Basin Pass. You know, just. We're, we're a little bit. Uh, old claim is a bit off the road because, you know, not everyone is uh, really cool with goblins uh, outside of the. Yeah, outside of uh uh the Kryn Dynasty, uh, but um we we make we make by we we get by. Uh, so if you're ever around, well you're welcome to 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 we uh, welcome to to come by and say hi. <laughs> cool, thanks, Elix and Stilb. Yeah. Wow. May Lord bless you, all your kind deeds today. Uh, that sounds cool. All right, well, all right, let's beat, let's beat hairy feet. 
Uh, yeah, take take care, y'all. Uh, as you guys uh move out, um, and start making your way uh out of the out of there. <laughs> and I'm gonna grab the goat. Get your goat. Get your goat. Uh, who's got your goat? Um, the yeah, as you guys make your way uh, uh, downtown, walking fast. Walking fast. As I put the door the, 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 the map of Wild Mount on there. Uh, um, yeah, was there you anything? Dale so, Warden. You, you know that you, you can make it in, uh, back on the road and towards uh and towards uh, go further down the road and see and meet up with your caravan to camp um and is there anything you guys uh discuss on the way or uh, what, what about what time of day is it now it's late afternoon uh, so like it, the whole thing was afternoon so it's like evening early evening Okay. So, like, I think you stumbled upon this, like, maybe like mid afternoon. We're going to make it before dark. Uh, it's dusking, but you'll, you figure you'll make it in time to camp up. And if anything, you have a late, you'll have like a late morning. But if you, if you, if you make, you know, um, cool, you can kind of know which way to go. Cause you're going to like make, okay. Just, so, um yeah is there anything you guys talk about along the way or do you kind of like just push forward yeah uh that, you know i'm just hoping that uh somebody picked up you know butter stuffs and uh and shadow facts off the road or whatever <laughs> uh, yeah. they're like oh yeah you saw and like what you can tell like uh it, was, it didn't show it on the map but you can tell that they were pretty stocked up and supplied for for tra traveling on the road. It seems like they're they're they know at least the they're they're experienced uh, travelers, <laughs> from what you can tell from their uh, gear and and wandering. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, if there's nothing, I'm else, not exactly gonna be fluting around when there is whatever beat up this guy and just yeah. stole his people and killed his horses. Yeah. Um, um but yeah, cross -eyed you, Mary will have to wait. Um, so you guys like kind of like, um, uh, more or less solemnly, like make your way to, uh, to the road. You find it easy to get back. Uh, just, you, you just kind of double back the way you came. Um, falling uh, the ass backwards. Yeah. Um, and you you get your back and get on the road and um and you know he uh luca after a little bit of like time healing he he starts to like lean less on summer like as far as necessary he still kind of like stays by you and kind of like at some point just sticks to just like maybe a hand on your shoulder uh and occasionally when he kind of like tumbles like catch himself on you and then but he keeps going but he's more or less kind of like getting a little bit better and getting a little bit more of his bearings as he follows along um like, well, uh do you guys know if you if uh you guys know if uh is uh, if your uh your caravan is a set up camp uh by now probably we, we were told to, we, yeah. we were told that they're with to expect camp yeah right uh, all right, well, hopefully, uh, could, I'm looking forward to getting a good night's sleep. <laughs> like, the, uh, when it not, other than, you know, in a sleep that doesn't involve being passed out to blood loss. <laughs> that would be nice. Sure. Will you look for your passengers in the morning, or do you think, like, they've uh, gone on ahead, or? Well, what did you guys see, um... On, uh, uh, and like, uh, as you guys are gonna push the road, it was like, what did you guys see? And like, he looks, and you guys get to 
where you guys left off and he kind of in, in when you uh, get there it's not on the road you see that like the uh the the carts the cart chunks <laughs> are off to the side of the road and kind of like put in a neat pile um and uh and you come up and you see i'm gonna say you see uh no yeah they, they just kind of leave the the uh they the horses uh the horse corpses are kind of laid out uh on the side of the road in the in the under the tree um and yeah, um he goes like ah yeah i guess this i was gonna ask what you guys saw and then i, I guess this is more or less what you saw Um, Our guides cleared the road, so yeah. they could continue, and others could pass. So it looks like they did a respectful job, you know, as they could, yeah. given the situation. But uh, yeah, I mean, what we saw the footprints of people. There's just a lot of footprints that got kind of muddled. But Petey, remind me, were we able to see which direction those footprints went? They were further down the road. Uh, you, the ones that you can tell were at least relatively new and the activity matched especially now thinking about the description of events the activity matches the description of events we go further down the road before they it seems to systematically hop onto a vehicle uh, in the middle like oh, you, okay. like that that like that m deeper impress of like somebody like launching yeah. themselves up uh okay. so this seems to be like uh like a cart or something mm -hmm. It's hard to tell exactly what. Alexa, stop. Okay. So maybe presumably they were able to hitch a ride. Um, maybe they weren't just, maybe they were just picked up off the road. I would road. say uh, it's, there's more than three footprints and these footprints, you can tell these footprints didn't come from this cart. The king from off the road. Like interesting. So so if you were to like surmise that this it's hard to tell exactly, but it'd be hard for them to like to it, it seemed to like they, they came in from off the road towards where the cart was and um and like running in a running motion and then um so there's also the possibility that or the possibility of those being the the attackers okay well i make sure i translate that to uh yeah. luca in case he wasn't able to discern that for himself uh, well, i mean it's um well We'll see. Um, if you guys don't mind uh, me joining you guys, uh, I think I'll join you guys. All, uh, if we don't see any sign of what happened to them along the way, at least just to get to Gordon and see if, we can, if I can uh, talk to their talk to their families and see, you know, and let them know. But uh, yeah, hopefully we'll find something along the way and some clues. Uh, you're probably not going to catch up to them because they they have a head start and we're heading the same direction we're going. Probably at a half faster I mean, that's, pace. That's fine by me. You'll have to talk to Grung and Brock. You know when we get there, they're they're our, our leaders of the caravan. So. Uh, Grung, you said Grung. Yeah. I know her. She's an old friend. Uh, I mean, oh. we, we kind of like all that kind of like know each other. Not all of us are friendly, but we all know each other. The the drivers that kind of do this road. Um, but, uh, we're not all friendly, but she's friendly. She's definitely friendly. <laughs> she's good I, people. Oh, really? Well, I mean, not that way. <laughs> not that I would say no. <laughs> but she's a strong woman. But. No, not that way. Uh, 
but she's i'm just saying she's good people and she's 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 hilarious too um uh, I'm, I'm, you, you, uh, that's really comforting that that's what you guys are with that's who you guys are with so, uh, it makes me feel a little bit safer a lot safer actually honestly <laughs> okay makes me feel safer now jeez yeah <laughs> awesome yeah, yeah there's uh, they're good guides uh, you know brock doesn't speak too much but he's he's pretty cool too yeah strong silent type um all right let's let's get going and off we go <laughs> uh yeah you guys uh head off on down the road as you're walking um and pretty much i you uh head down the road you pretty much uh just keep going down the road and you end up uh about like a couple hours of a walk you figure it probably was like a, a little bit less than that a bit uh, quite a bit less than that uh cart but it takes a it's a little bit darker but you guys are able to kind of get there and guided and you eventually catch a uh the smoke from a campfire uh and you walk up and uh and uh grung and brock have set up uh the they've parked the they're off on the side of the road there's this nice like nice clearing that they found um and with like uh like this like indentation in the in the forest so like to like the place on the road it kind of it curves back up to to the right side of the road not that it matters but where there's like nice little like trees around you but a nice little clearing and you can see a night sky up above you and they have a campfire set up they got this the the um the pot set up and cooking cooking at the night's dinner uh they're all eating so as you can you can figure you surmise that they've already started eating uh how do you use stag and grung and brock there and like grung is like looks over he's like hey he notices you notices you. hey y'all you made it <sighs> oh is that luca you son of a bitch get over here <laughs> and she runs over and like grabs uh him and a big hug and like this orc squishing this human it's like hey grung ah ow Oh, oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, ooh, didn't notice. I, I saw your face and just got excited. Uh, you all right there? Uh, uh, this, is this who you guys... How'd you find him? Yeah. We followed uh, the butt trail to a cave, and some goblins had rescued him. When we found him, we found him not well. <sighs> yes. They were trying to do him a solid. Oh, uh, that sounds good. Um, are you feeling okay, Luca? Uh, I've had better days. <laughs> uh, all right, well, get in here. Yes. Food's food's still hot. Uh, we've got a spare we got a spare spot you can uh crash. Um. All right, well, any so you saw it's finding any other information. Uh, guys, Grung says, as just in case you can't differentiate my vastly uh, wide range of voices. <laughs> no, no, no. Please do continue. Carry on. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. Um. So, what do you guys find out? Was... Um. Yeah. Not. Not much other than well, not a whole lot, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, I had right. some passengers. Okay. Yeah, I had some uh, some people. Some people I was taking to Port de Mali. It was uh, um, I remember it's uh, um, uh, a couple of people was uh. It was a 
And um, a halfling woman. Uh, uh, halfling woman. Uh, there's a, a human guy. Uh, human guy. Uh, uh, and a lizard folk fella. Um, yeah, they were just a uh, hitch and ride to, to Port Damali and I was taking care of them. I was uh, getting, driving them there. But uh, they seem to be missing. And we're kind of just kind of going, um, Grung, uh, I, I, you know, um, I don't want to impose, I know, you know, but I was wondering, and Grung was like, will you shut up? Of course we're going to take you, take you back to Gordon. Like I said, we got a spot for you. We're to, we got you. All right, go eat. <laughs> go eat and rest. And, uh, and Luca kind of like, um, kind of walks away from Summer. I was like, thank you, Summer, for the help. And he just walks off on his own. A little limp, but you know he's he's feeling a little stronger, so he walks off, goes off, gets himself some food, and he's like, well, um, I mean, I was keeping an eye out along the way uh, at, to find clues of my own. Um, it's hard, because uh, I don't know. As far as we can tell, it just uh, it gets lost in a lot of the the trails. But uh, it just kind of it, it, I can definitely tell you this from from where we uh, left you guys to here. There were no um, obvious turnoffs of anybody going off the road. So to here, to our best guess. Uh, they just kept going down the road. They weren't here camping, that's for sure. So this is the usual camp spot, and then we didn't see them anywhere before here. Um, but it's hard to tell because we got here relatively early for, for uh, camping up, and they had a head start. So we'll have to see if there's any clues for their head. But that's probably not something that we're going to accomplish too much on empty stomachs and heavy heads. <laughs> yeah. Up to love you. Yeah. Um, well, uh, it's a heavy day. <laughs> um, y'all, uh, go ahead and get yourself some food and get yourself set up to, for, to, uh, to sleep. Uh, sorry, that was me. <laughs> Random slack. Uh, was the the elevator? Ding. <laughs> um. D and D memes lead me to other memes. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I, just, I just looked at the screen and saw that, and I was, oh my god. Yes. So. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Um. Yeah. Uh. As you guys uh, get settled down for the night, is there anything you guys do for the evening? Um, I don't know. What's it? What's the mood like? Like, are are we? So from uh, like, are, I was, are we uh, kind of? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can. You know, for the heck of it, you can have a, a general insight, a, a vibe check, or an in, a general insight check. A <laughs> Give yourself check. a vibe oh, check. No. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Nice. Um, vibes are on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tuned in to the vibes, my dude. Um, I mean, God damn it. I'll let the players clue you in on their vibes that they're giving off. But as far as like the, you know, as you can tell from like Grong and Brock and I mean, Brock is hard to read usually, but you can kind of get it from him is that there there's uh, from them a little bit of worry, 
a relief from uh like uh from Luca, the same thing. A little bit of worry, but generally relief and like at the very least he's like, okay, this I'm alive and I'm I'm fed I, mean, I got food and I got a at least I I'm not out in the you know woods and I'm at a loss. So there's a little a lot of relief and the general mood is let's just kind of like get through tonight and we'll 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 go through we'll figure it out tomorrow i don't know about the vibes of the the, the players <laughs> get an insight on your on your fellow players they can give you how they're kind of carrying their demeanor uh, if you guys want to say i am almost always standoffish with new people for a while um so i'm kind of in the corner just sort of Keeping tabs on the new guy and keeping myself, keeping quiet, trying to relax a little bit. Being mysterious. <laughs> Dark and mysterious. Summer is honestly feeling a little bit exhausted from having uh, Luca put like his full body weight on her for <laughs> at least an hour, we'll say. Yeah. So she's, she's, she's over somewhere doing some light yoga Yeah. and just feeling like, <laughs> I need to take care Ooh. of me first like a little bit of yoga or like yoga with lights <laughs> oh just a little bit of yoga especially working on the shoulder area yes uh Lush, also Lush feeling, might join you yeah yeah, okay. yeah. for the yoga yeah um like an air conditioning kicks in outside just just take an edible and get some <laughs> yoga and we're good to go, go. I mutter something about fucking dirty hippies <laughs> under my breath as he as he eats his gummy. Yes. <laughs> hey, remember Lucius and Summer were uh, roommates for like all those days in Port Damali, so I feel yeah. like like we've bonded, you know. Yeah. 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 No. Me <laughs> me and Lucius and Summer, like we're tight. Yeah. We're good buddies. I, I offer you a gummy as well. Mm -hmm. A gummy. You, you have <laughs> the, the, I don't know if dead horse gave gummy. you gelatin. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like, I, I went over to the uh, to the butcher shop and got some aspic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like, are you sure? The Perkish butcher looked at you like, are the, that, you want weed. what? I mean, we got, Wait, that's gonna be a thing. Hold on. We got some like I feel prime like cuts here. Sugar. <laughs> I feel like we should take a first watch. Yeah. yeah. So we can start vibing and yeah. then and then not 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 be too off the rails. Right. <laughs> That's, a critical time. <laughs> That's right. Um yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Summer so, just wants to relax. Yeah, Summer um, eat, eats a, eats an edible and knows that she's got a ticking time bomb within her uh, subconscious <laughs> that's about yeah. ready to go off. So she better get her work done before then. Yes. Um yeah, the, the, she. So you guys do that. Uh, so uh, if you guys are gonna, if there's any nothing else, you guys will call it a night. Um, you guys have the first watch. Um, you two. Uh, so uh, either two, of you can give me up. You know, per, every kind of like goes off and does a thing. Um, you two can give me a perception check, or uh, one of you can give it to me with advantage. I, I think I'll give it to you with an advantage. Nice. Oh, well. Nice. Well, there you go. Uh, 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 27. <laughs> um, you, see, you see everything. <laughs> you see through I time see sound. and space. Um, yeah, you're, you're clocked in there. Um, so as you go through the night, uh, you are the first one to... So it... Everything is more or less a calm evening, if a bit like restless, obviously, of uh, you know, uh, the, the given the circumstances, uh, but relatively calm evening. Um, and you don't see much out of out of the nowhere, out of the ordinary outside. And, um, but uh, you're the first one to notice, and then eventually someone notices uh, that Luca uh, gets up. Uh, and kind of climb. You see him kind of get out and climb out from, from the from the caravan, and like kind of waves to you like a little bit like pain, painedly. 
I kind of like stretch it out a little bit. Uh, Got to take a leak. <laughs> Goes over to the corner. Does his business. Has to drain the lizard folk. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, man. Having trouble sleeping. Y'all doing all right? Mm. We're, we're chilling. Mm. We're enjoying this fine evening. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Cool. So glad you guys came around. Uh, uh, I would have been. I mean, uh, if I wouldn't have been able to make it through the day. I mean, as much as that, those guys were trying to help out, they uh, definitely needed a little bit more than just a. Uh, a little TLC. Absolutely. I'm glad we went with our instincts and followed that trail. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to see if I can try to get some sleep. Uh, y'all, y'all take care. Uh, take care. Have a, have a good okay. evening. So don't keep an eye on things. Uh, I don't know. I, I, uh, good night. Good night. Good night. Uh, 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 as, like as, as he leaves earshot, I kind of lean over to Summer. I'm like, I guess I should have given him one as well. <laughs> uh, he climbs I mean, if he if he had stayed to you know and chatted with us longer, maybe <laughs> that that would have been a good cue. But uh, he's Sh- he's gonna should, be should fine. Should have given one, him one earlier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, or just quick, the, quick the equivalent of the CBD, just like yeah. Knock, yeah. knock him out. Yeah. <laughs> Microdose him. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Don't give him the full 20 grams in the fiber. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, as you uh, start to have the ooey come over you and all the good vibes that come with the. Come with <laughs> Your, your drugs you start uh, being able to smell colors <laughs> you kind of just things start to kind of get wavy and and good and the co- things are a little bit more bright vibrant and colorful um through that more or less you see a very calm evening beautiful stars more beautiful than ever <laughs> <laughs> maybe start moving a little bit more just, you could swear <laughs> they're kind of all dancing around uh, but you know nothing out of the ordinary from from your experiences, Lucius. <laughs> you kind of see through, you know, you know what's going on. Uh, you have a you have a nice, safe trip. Uh, while doing your watch, a nice, calm, safe trip. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, crazy happens. Um, as you start to come down with your watch, uh, who's got second watch? <laughs> I'll take it. And if nobody else wants to, I'll, I'll go wake you up. Yeah. And then if nobody else had volunteered, uh, I'll grab Pseudo Dragon. Sue, and then uh, <laughs> Grung do. will also. Uh, uh, oh, I was hoping that we were going to role play PD. <laughs> I was going to have some, some, some me and Pseudo well, Dragon. And oh, yeah, and, and Grung is like, oh, I'll I, Grung. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Not, uh, Ahoy, hoy. Uh, all right. You guys sit around the campfire. Um, go ahead and uh, she's assisting you. Go ahead and give me a perception check with advantage. Man, those guys—they're hopped up on goofballs. Yeah. Uh, I a twenty-one. Twenty-one. Um. Yeah, you have uh, you know you. It's a very calm night. Uh, once again, uh, you kind of like just out, see out in the, the forest, you you hear just uh, general nocturnal animal sounds. You, you maybe hear a wolf howl off in the distance. Uh, you, see, you hear some like bugs here and there. Um, and it's, a, it's just a nice, a nice night. Uh, you're looking up, you see a, a, 
Katha is uh is on, at, a, at a waning crescent, mm-hmm. looking nice, giving a nice like moonlight down onto you, um, uh, and it is the breeze kind of like you're getting a little bit of like a breeze coming in from the clearing coming from the clear side but not too much because it kind of gets trapped in there uh and this little like uh open clearing uh the woods around you um yeah but mostly a very calm uneventful watch I ground it like ah oh man I'm looking forward to what, uh, I don't know if I'm looking forward to finding who these people were. (laughs) I have a feeling that we're going to have a lot of strange things like that occur. I don't know. Something is not right. This entire uh, trip has been a little strange. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's very brazen to kind of like, I mean, on this road, it's a lot of, it's fairly well patrolled. So it's kind of brazen they would, they would do a snatch and grab on the gilded roadway. Yeah, so something is not adding up with my for people of you know that these these are folks that are uh that seem to know what they were up to all right well uh, let's our watch uh, yeah, let's go wake these next people up <laughs> i know mortals last so <laughs> So, who's up to third his watch? Son in. <laughs> yeah, he is. Like and he goes to you, and uh, Stag is. Uh, is uh, actually, no, it'd be. I would say Brock would be. <laughs> it'd be fun. It's you and Brock in the next watch. As long as I don't get F5. <laughs> uh, and so you guys wake up and, like, he comes out of the the they a grung wakes up brock on the cart you come out of the caravan or whatever you're from uh and he kind of like just gives you a nod and like he just sits up by the campfire mm-hmm. uh go ahead uh give me a perception check with advantage oh with advantage mm-hmm. let me advantage. roll a second one and see what i get nice Ah, okay. I think I'll take that second one. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, 24. Um, so, so you sit there, two hilariously quiet individuals, occasionally like, yeah, nice night. That talk could... Part Again, the the distrust oh. just like mm. yep. yeah what's the ron swanson thing crazy i had a friend never said a word to each other sometimes we still don't talk to each other <laughs> um the like, yeah. crazy day weird mm-hmm. it's been an odd one mm-hmm. just keep scanning yeah. and the um, it, it, it's a fairly quiet night it's uh the I would say you make a point of trying to like look around look and you make also make a point of looking further down the road um like where, the way which way you're going and it's 
it's odd that you don't see even in the far distance something of a of, of a remnant of a campfire or something in the over in the canopy you don't see anything you would figure maybe you see like a faint like smokestack like off in the distance from some campfire or something but you know it it's oddly um non-existent and you don't see anything down you know, as far as the smoke just an eerie quiet yeah and it's fairly and other than like obviously like you know night nature sounds <laughs> like but other than like your regular normal nature sounds nothing you 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 would think it was like i said something further down the road you might spot something but um it's odd that there's nobody you would figure they can't be that far ahead of you like they can't be that far ahead of you that you can't see anything as far as like a remnant of a, of a camp like like over the trees and it's a fairly straight road um you know you you from what you remember of the road coming up here it's a fairly straight road there's not um not until like it gets to um with the exception of turning off into uh where you were told is the teoden byway it's a fairly straight road and there's like a straight road and then like two straight <laughs> fairly like uh straightforward roads so Yeah, so that's that's what you would note. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> and you guys wrap up your watch, um, and you guys wake up mortal and steg for their watch, uh, and and. Yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll give. I'll check what mortal. Because, and I'll do it this way because I didn't get a chance to. He uses cameras a lot, so. So, uh, how can it phone? We'll do. <laughs> so I wrestle with my phone in these quiet moments. Um, all right. Show dice. Random marker. <laughs> Let's see what the what shows well on camera. That is uh six. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's hard to tell when yeah, it's a six. Let me see what mortal's perception is. <laughs> oh wait, no, it's with advantage, yeah. Okay. It's eleven with plus three, so that's fourteen. It was a 14. He mostly has an un And he also has a mostly uneventful <laughs> evening. I just want to show off the little dice rolling <laughs> string. And my Zaki. Look at this fucking thing. Look at this fucking thing. If you if you drop it, it might wake up people in the house. It's so loud. <laughs> It'll wake up Lou Zaki. Oh. Like... <laughs> This thing is a weapon. Like I could chuck this guy, chuck this at somebody's head and cause a concussion. Like, forget brass knuckles, man. Just keep that thing yeah. in your pocket. Like, oh my god. Um, you'd have to use two or three socks around that thing. Mm-hmm. 
But yeah. As you guys wake up one by one, you guys had pretty okay nights sleeps. Um, you know, it's a little bit uh worrying or depending on how you're feeling, but uh pretty okay night's sleep, pretty calm and pretty deep sleep, uh comfortable sleep uh for being on the road. Um you guys wake up for breakfast. Uh as you see, as you see, you know, you wake up to the sight of mortal splayed out on the ground. Just, you know, as he is, as he is, as he always is, just like, just shell up, face down, shell up. That's the way he likes to uh, eat up. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. Uh, yeah, what do you do? What do you have planned for the day? Uh, what, 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 is, what is your... Let's talk about what your agenda is going forward as we finish up the episode. Uh, One, don't get horse murdered and kidnapped. Uh-huh. One, possibly if we see any more of that stuff. Uh, going on we uh we we track down kidnappies or whatever if it happens you know it's D D. you never know what's going to happen mm-hmm. but that might happen um and uh we got to keep this train rolling we got places to be yeah yeah mm-hmm. we can't just we can't do every adventure <laughs> um yeah um as you guys set out we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, wrap it up for another fantastic we episode. We get bit of... by a werewolf. Yes. Ooh, ooh! Uh, another fantastic episode of Through the Tomes. Thank you all for being with us. Thank you to the team for the party. We had another like a little bit of an RP heavy episode. The combat will come. Don't worry. <laughs> if you're waiting for the combat, <laughs> we were kind of setting things up. It will happen. It will happen. Uh, luckily it didn't happen with those goblins so they had four health so <laughs> we were attacking mystery yeah those, those poor little guys they're, they're, those were uh, goblin com- they're literally called goblin commoners <laughs> they, they just wanted to go get themselves some fungus they were looking for some nice morels yeah they're just helping out their, their clan um but yeah um wanted to blow shit up yes it's always fun. Uh, explosions are fun, uh, especially when you walk away from them slowly, uh, as as hey. Geralt of Rivia. As hey, we do. I, I, I'm pretty familiar with a, a a green goblin that flies around and throws pumpkins that blow up. Yeah. Like it's a cannon. Like um, or like how we do on the Witcher streams with me and Daisy, where where uh, every time I blow up a monster nest. Uh, I like to uh, make sure the camera is facing Geralt and he's walking towards the camera slowly and cool as he explodes. As it explodes. Action Gerard. Yeah, which uh, you can see here on Revelli TV. You follow the channel at Revelli TV here on Twitch or you can check out the episodes over on Revelli TV on YouTube. Uh, should be caught up. I think I have one episode to go as of this uh, stream slash recording uh, to, to put up, but uh, it should be up there soon. Um check out all of our pods our streams uh including this uh record breakers our music podcast our witcher streams our mass effect streams we're getting a nice rhythm going with the mass effect 3 um and more more fun stuff uh depending on if i'm allowed i mean there's the <laughs> i've also have a day job which is actually t- sometimes a night job <laughs> so that affects things but keep an eye out on the streams uh Keep it out. Just follow the channel. Hit the make sure that it notifies you when we go when I go live, so you can catch all the streams and follow on YouTube. Um, yeah, do all the things. Like, share, bells, thumbs up, all the things. Until next time. Hasta los huevos. Lou. Hashtag find Luke. Anya. Fighting. <laughs>